Hello, I'm Greg Bordner. I'd like to welcome you to Abbott's Magic. It's a, a unique place. We make magic, magic tricks that we send all over the world. We've been the magic capital of the world for a lot of years, and uh, my dad helped start this business with Percy Abbott. Well, this is the front of Abbott's Magic. It certainly is brick and mortar. It's all of my house. It's a real building and a real store. And uh, we've been in Colon since 1934. The building was actually a buggy shop, a carriage factory, back before it was a magic shop, back at the turn of the other century. But uh, then there was a fire in the uh, early 40s, and it was rebuilt as a, a cement block building. Now, we've always had white or silver skeletons on the front cover of, uh, of the building. And uh, even on one year in the uh, magic week, there was a an extra bone added to those guys and it was pretty embarrassing to the women that were coming in so before we realized we had to change our uh, our front that someone had done a uh, little bit of a practical joke on us there. This is the shipping department where we package and re shipping and receiving <laughs> it's easy for me to say and a uh, little scale here and uh, we write down a little manual record of when the day is, the weight of the package, and, uh, how it was sent, whether it's three-day select or red label, blue label by UPS, whatever. Uh, it's right off the showroom here, and uh, you can kind of glance out there. And uh, this is the behind the scenes at Habits. Uh, there's 800, well, 744 drawers with different magic tricks in them. This is the wand section with breakaway in the first, and this is thimble, uh, spirit and spook section, and then a whole bunch of silks uh, here. Uh, this is uh, the whole silk section. Well, here, uh, cane silk. Here's a, a cane silk. Now, we manufacture that here in the basement, little white tip on one end, and you have that attached to the appearing cane, spin it around, and there's the cane. These are the other green drawers, okay? For instance, when you have the uh, tricks in the showroom that are uh, large, uh, they won't fit in a green drawer, but their instructions will. So this is for the surrounded livestock and production vanish, which is a box out in the livestock area in the showroom. Uh, sword through neck. We keep the instructions in these green drawers. So yeah, we have uh, plenty of these, the chair suspension, uh, on and on it goes. So there's several hundred of these green drawers, but they don't get moved. The stuff in here just stays in here, sort of like Vegas. Okay. This is the wood shop of Abbott's Magic. Uh, we're in the process of making a uh, production called the Classic Production. This box has to fit secretly in that box. But uh, it's got a long way to go before it's ready yet, but uh, you can see there's a lot of work already been done on this. It's 500 bucks, and it's got a gold dragon on a red box when it's done. Uh, yeah, we make illusions here. Uh, you know, it's still a drill press, a sander, uh, you know, a table saw, and uh, a lot of sawdust. This is the metal shop. This is a punch press. <laughs> it's almost medieval. I think there's a 1920s uh, date on it where the guy actually jumps on this pedal and then this comes down and takes your finger off if you're not careful. And these are the different dies and chucks used to uh, punch the metal for like, uh, oh, watch winders. We make the body for that. Uh, a number of uh, tubes and uh, square pieces that are punched right here on this ancient punch press. Right next to it is a, a very nice lathe. It's uh, been here a long time. And then another ancient drill press. This is a milling machine that we use to cut tubing for like the shooting a wand. Uh, uh, a number of tricks that we would uh, drill, not necessarily drill, but mill the uh, sides of a tube to make a trick happen. This is the uh, half die tank gimmick and it's about half made. <laughs> There's a piece of cloth that goes in the middle. These will be slightly bent. Billy McComb was actually here in this metal shop and worked with our metal worker to make sure that we made these exactly the right size. These are rollers. These will make tubes. You start with a flat piece of metal and when you put it through the roller it gives it a curve. You change the angle here with these big thumb screws you put the metal through again, and it will make it curve more. 
where you keep that up and you get yourself tubes. <laughs> so it's a long, slow process. This is a way to cut and make a circle out of metal. So you put the metal in here and then these little guys, which will also take your finger off, <laughs> will cut the metal and then it has to go into this arm. So we can only make it so big. Uh, that's why our Super Britannia, whatever, uh, there are limits to the size we can go because of the size of the machinery. Black velveteen, this is a way to make black artifacts happen. Of course we also have it in the red too for like the change bags or whatever. You know, it's got a velvet-like material, so it kind of classes things up. So if you wanted to buy this, we actually sell it separately. And then we have bolts of silk. Sometimes, here they are. <laughs> we buy this by the bolt, and then we hem up the silk upstairs, uh, down here, and take them upstairs. So if you want a 12-inch blue silk, it comes from a bolt of blue. But if you also get an 18-inch, it should match in color. The uh, silk's expensive. <laughs> I'm just saying that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a cutting table for the uh, seamstress. Uh, we manufacture a lot of magic here. Always have and always will, I hope. Here's a uh, streamer. Oh, this one's I see why this is where it's at. This will go on our eBay store <laughs> because it's not perfect. I can't sell this regular retail. The uh, die job, where did I see that? Okay, right here is not perfect, so I can't sell that as a regular Abbott silk. The quality isn't there. Here's a mechanic, uh, what was the word I want to use? It's a singer. <laughs> okay, industrial strength. Singer, okay. And over here is a uh, very heavy duty sewing machine that we use for our mail bag, our uh, straight jacket. This does heavy duty canvas. You can see by this thread, I mean, that's serious thread. More green drawers. <laughs> They're everywhere. These have parts. This has gold cord in it, Velcro scraps, sticky Velcro, uh, white twill tape. Uh, it's our own little sewing department here. Uh, satin ribbons, bone rings. Uh, we have a lot of these because they're used in a lot of different ways. This is then a whole area of, these are too big for the green drawers, but these are our makeup boxes. For instance, uh, Knots Off Silk, number 69. So they're labeled and numbered. And it has instructions on the inside how to make the trick. These are the knots that come off the knots off silk. And they tell you how many goes in a package. <laughs> it's right inside the box here. So it's an integral part of this manufacturing process. You get your instructions on how to make it right in the box that holds all the parts. This is the flower section right here of the, we call this number seven. Every area is a department. And this is number seven. So there's metal, there's plastics, there's wood. Each department has a number. And this is number seven. And this is where we make the flowers. This is a Super Britannia in process. We still have to do the metal tube in the metal shop and put those together. But for instance, all of these feathers have to be trimmed, each feather, one at a time, to get that rounded look so that they look perfect. I think the feathers actually come from Vietnam by way of Paris and then through New York City. So there are several stops. These, uh, these feathers are very nice. These are not turkey feathers. These make a beautiful bouquet. <laughs>